Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm gonna to tell you about this beautiful 2020 Tesla 3. Uh, this is a dual motor, so that means it's all wheel drive, long range. Uh, this particular one is in very nice shape, uh, very low miles, one owner clean Carfax. And let's pull up the mileage here. 3,788 miles at the time of making this video. So super low miles uh, and right now, uh, Tesla's new car production is all sold out for quarter two of 2021. So if you're looking for a brand new Tesla right now, there's not too many options out there, but luckily we have this really nice example that's in nearly new condition itself. Um, has a lot of cool features. Uh, the Tesla came out in, two, the, the Model 3 came out in 2018, uh, but they've made a number of improvements in 2020. Uh, it was a brand new mass produced vehicle for Tesla in 2018. And it's, uh, the 2018s are great. I would buy a 2018, but I do notice on the 2020s that they did make some improvements as far as build quality goes. And there are some additional features on the 2020s that you didn't have on the 2018s. Uh, for example, um, for the climate control system, I'm pretty sure uh, with the uh, 2018s, I think you just had front heated seats if I remember correctly, but now uh, you have rear heated seats. And looking at the climate control system, it's a really intuitive uh, system to use. Uh, like, look at the design uh, for the uh, the screen for the HVAC system. It's very intuitive. So operating the Tesla, it's a very intuitive system. Basically, everything is controlled by the center screen uh, right here. And uh, at first, it might be a little overwhelming, but you just play with the menus. It's very intuitive. It's like using a, a smartphone. Um, so you have all your quick controls right here. Uh, so basically, almost all the features of the vehicle are controlled through these screens. So as far as full stealth driving goes, I know people ask about this. So this, so in 2020 and newer Teslas, um, basically your options are uh, autopilot with convenient features on the Model 3 or full self-driving hardware. Uh, well, not full self-driving hardware, but full self-driving capability. Uh, so right now, full self-driving capability is kind of like a pre-purchase thing. So you're buying the ability to have it in the future, but the full self-driving capability is not available uh, right now. And this is being filmed, you know, uh, May 2021. It could be different in a month or a uh, month or two from now. Um, there are some uh, additional features, like you get smart summon and some other cool features uh, with the full self-driving. Uh, you know upgrade but right now um, autopilot pilot of convenient features it's really gonna you know offer you a lot of the uh, driving um, features that people want for instance and I'll talk about that a little bit more when we take it for a spin but as far as you know it's not gonna navigate itself on city streets but uh, it will auto steer and it will move the flow of traffic um, just as long as there's clear uh, lane markings. So if you do drive and stop and go traffic, I can tell you the autopilot with convenient features is a godsend. I've used it a lot. It's not a full self-driving system. You have to pay attention. 99% of the time it sees everything, but you have to pay attention for that 1% of the time where it might not get everything. So, you know, the car watches your back and you watch the car's back and together, it's a very safe system. When autopilot is used correctly, I think statistically you're 10 times less likely to get an accident with uh, autopilot on versus you driving yourself. So it's a very safe system. And I think there's a lot of uh, bad information out there, which I'll talk to you a little bit more when I show you how uh, the autopilot convenience uh, feature system works. Um, so as far as uh, you know, access goes to the internet, this has kind of an onboard uh, smartphone uh, or uh, like a cell phone uh, transponder. So um, it's called a premium connectivity. I think it's uh, like $10 a month. So uh, for $10 a month, you have uh, you can stream music, and then you have the access to Google Maps, which is really helpful for using the navigation system. A great navigation system, by the way. Uh, when you do uh, put the Tesla over to your, into your account, they'll give you like a one month trial for the premium connectivity. Um, and I think everyone should get it for 10 bucks a month. It's definitely well worth it. Um, so basically, uh, opening the trunks, unlocking the vehicle, a lot of this stuff is handled on these screens here. Also, you know, you have a dog mode, which is great, so you can leave your pets in the vehicle. I'll show you how it works. Put it in dog mode. And then when you close the door, you can, well, let's see if we can go in this side and see it. See, uh, my owner will be back soon. Don't worry, the AC is on and it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit inside. 
So definitely a popular feature uh, with people with pets. Uh, lots of other cool uh, systems as well. Let me make sure I put the key back there. All right. All right. And then um, charging the vehicle. So there's multiple ways of charging. Um, I've utilized a supercharger. The superchargers are great. Usually you can get a full charge, uh, sometimes as little as 45 minutes. And you actually can control the rate of charge here. Um, so Tesla doesn't recommend you always uh, charging the battery to 100% because it's not good for the battery. So to get the longest life of the battery, they recommend charging it to 80, 90%. But for instance, if you're doing a long, long road trip, you can uh, set it up so that the battery does uh, fully charge. It does take a little bit larger, longer at the supercharger to top off the battery. So basically, uh, as the battery, the fuller the battery gets, the longer uh, it takes to charge. So you'll notice if the battery is depleted, you'll notice, oh wow, I'm charging at you know 500 miles an hour. But as the b battery fills up, the charge rate will slow down. So that's pretty cool. And you can actually, uh, you know, you can set the charge rate. And it's not that expensive. For instance, uh, this is, uh, we have this hooked up to my Tesla, our corporate Tesla account for the store. All the Teslas we buy, we add to our Tesla account just because it makes it a lot easier to use all the features. And of course, when you buy this, we can easily switch this over into your name. We'll show you how. So um, it was about 100 and 20 miles and I did a full charge and it was only $12.16. I think that would be, you know, at, even at the added electricity rate you pay at the supercharger, I think that's still cheaper than using gas. Lots of entertainment. You can watch Netflix, YouTube. Uh, you can play video games. And then of course you have uh, other silly things uh, like, you know, the whoopee cushion and uh, romance mode and silly things like that. And as far as range goes with uh, Tesla, so that's kind of a, you know, kind of a hot topic subject. So, you know, they say, oh, the car is rated uh, 300 miles or 310 miles. Well, that's in perfect conditions. That's, you know, you're going a certain speed. The tires are at 45 PSI. It's not, you know, 15 degrees outside. You don't have the heated seats. You don't have the stereo on. In the real world, in a long range Tesla Model 3, you're probably going to get between 200 and 250 miles on a full charge. Maybe if the conditions are right, you can get 300 miles in a little bit longer. But there's a great network of uh, superchargers, so uh, you can, you know, obviously navigate. The, the navigation system will know when you need to supercharge, so, you know, just keep that in mind. And even though, okay, it can't, it's not going to go the full 300 miles, uh, like the EPA says most of the time, it's still one of the longest range electric vehicles that you can buy. So there's not <laughs> there's not a lot of other choices uh, for vehicles that go a longer range than the Model 3. This is pretty much as good as it gets. And I think 200 and 250 miles is still um, a lot of range for a vehicle like this. Um, and then there's some cool features, like for instance with Tesla, uh, you can do some uh, over there air upgrades and it'll improve the performance of the vehicle. So right now, if you have this over in your Tesla account, you can see if you pay uh, $2,000, it'll do an over-the-air update. We'll actually increase the acceleration of this vehicle. Pretty cool. I don't think there's any other <laughs> vehicle where you can get an over-the-air update. We'll improve the acceleration. Well, you pay $2,000 for that acceleration boost update, and it'll go 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. I think right now it's about 4.5 seconds, which is still really, really fast. And even though the Model 3 is considered a compact vehicle, it still has a decent amount of interior space. Uh, there's no transmission tunnel. Uh, there is no uh, prop shaft, drive shaft going through the middle of the vehicle. Um, so with the batteries pretty much flat underneath you, you have a lot of interior space. Also with the weight of the batteries, uh, with you know the batteries on this vehicle are most of the or a majority of the weight of the vehicle and they're very very low so this is a extremely low center of gravity which makes it handle wonderfully but also it makes it a very low rollover risk actually as far as accidents go this is probably one of the safest vehicles uh, on the road i think uh, the model 3 has one of the lowest probabilities of injury in an accident out there and a big reason for that is crumple zones a lot of uh, cars have an engine right here uh, this doesn't, so this has a crumple zone in the front that's 60% larger than most uh, gas-powered vehicles. And that's another reason why these things are so safe. They're also very well constructed. 
And look at that, uh, they call this a frunk, so where the engine normally is, you have a little bit extra storage space. So this is a dual motor, so you have a motor in the front and a motor in the back, and that's how it has all-wheel drive. Uh, amazing acceleration and performance, very smooth. So charging options, uh, so you have the supercharger, and then you have home charging, so here's the chargers. Uh, and pricing for Tesla accessories is not too bad. I bought a brand new charger from Tesla. It was like 300 bucks, which is great. A lot of other manufacturers I've had to buy chargers from, it's like $900 or $1,000, but partly that's because Tesla's are vertically integrated. They don't have franchises and parts suppliers and middlemen. Uh, pretty much it's all done in-house, uh, so they can pass on the savings to the customers. So This one has uh, uh, basically 110 charging. And then you can go on Tesla's website and there's a number of different adapters that you can get uh, for uh, different ways of charging. Um, so, you know, you have a lot of options there. Uh, the 110 charging isn't very efficient. You'll probably maybe add like two or three miles an hour. Uh, when you set up home charging, which is uh, the majority of the charging is maybe the most cost efficient, you want to set up 240 charging in your house and you'll get a full charge in 48 hours. So you go home, you plug it into your 240 uh, home charger, and then uh, the next morning you'll have a full charge and pretty much you'll never have to go to a gas station again. Here and there you'll you know, have the convenience of uh, supercharging. Uh, we have a very big proven business. We can get this shipped pretty much anywhere in the country. Uh, contact us for more details. Uh, if you're a little bit closer, we have a mobile delivery service. Uh, we can get this delivered to you in as little as 24 to 48 hours. You can put it on our car hauler, tow it to your house, and uh, this beautiful Tesla Model 3 can be all yours without having to leave your neighborhood. Now, after that being said, let's take it for a spin. All right, here we go, taking this 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range dual motor out for a drive. Actually, as far as I know now, for 2020, I think the only way to get the long range variant of the Model 3 is with all wheel drive. They don't make the rear wheel drive long range anymore. It's a great product. Uh, I've been with Infinity close to 17 years. I own an Infinity. I'm a big fan of the Infinity product, but I'm also a big fan of Tesla and electric vehicles. I think they're fantastic. Uh, I think Tesla makes some of the best, best electric vehicles out there right now. Um, and the autopilot with convenient features is a fantastic system. Uh, this one has the autopilot with convenient features. It's not the full self-driving, uh, but basically you have to pay attention, but with the autopilot with convenient features on, it's pretty close to self-driving. But like I said, you gotta pay attention. It's not fully autonomous. So basically I, I pushed on the stock down twice like this, and that activates the uh, auto steer and adaptive cruise control. So, um, you know, you hear a lot of this, uh, you know, news, oh, autopilot's dangerous, people are riding in the back seats and all that stuff, and cars are accelerating and crashing. Well, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. I think a lot of people that are writing these articles, they've never utilized autopilot. I think it's a very safe system. I think it makes the cars a lot safer. I think uh, if you drive and stop and go traffic and have driver fatigue, it's a godsend. So right now, I have the autopilot on. I need to continuously put my hand on the steering wheel or it will uh, de deactivate it. See, it wants me to keep the hand pressure on the steering wheel. Uh, but I'm just having a little hand pressure on the steering wheel. I'm paying attention. The car is driving itself. It's keeping pace with the vehicles. Um, I have the speed limit. Uh, can, it has traffic sign recognition. You can see that the speed is 35 miles an hour. And if I try setting the contru cruise control anything over, uh, 40 it won't let me go five miles an hour over the speed limit speed limit. So that's another safety feature auto steer not available That's restricted to 40 miles an hour. So I'm, it's not gonna let me go 90 miles an hour in a 35 with uh, the autopilot on And also oh if I try getting out of my seat I try taking my seatbelt off. Oh look at that <laughs> That's a major warning sign right there. So if I try taking my seatbelt and um, You know get in the back seat It's gonna uh, go crazy yeah, see, they don't mess around with their warnings, as you can see. All right. So, uh, and then as far as acceleration and performance goes, it's just unparalleled with a Tesla. Um, and electric mo motors in general, electric cars in general, with uh, gas-powered cars, uh, they have to downshift. 
um, the engines have to rev up to make their peak power. With electric motors, they make their peak output right away. There's no gears to downshift. This just has one gear. So sometimes if I need to accelerate or pass someone, even in a performance car, I push on the gas and there's a momentary pause for one or two seconds while the transmission figures what gear to go, is, go into. The engine has to rev to the power van. Then you take off. But here, you just hit the gas and the car takes right off. And this isn't even the fastest version of the Model 3, but it's still very, very quick. All right, you have the auto steer back on. And you can see um, uh, the vehicle's driving. It's uh, steering itself, uh, going with the flow of traffic. Sometimes it gets a little bit confused and you have to... Uh, so with, um, with autopilot, 99% of the time it's going to stop, it's going to be safe, it's going to see the vehicles, but you need to pay attention for that 1% of the time where it doesn't. And the other thing too is it will slow down for our car stopping, like this car stopping, and it's slowing down, it sees it. But if there's a red light, it's not going to stop for a red light. Uh, you have to stop the car. Uh, it will warn you maybe there's a red light, but it's not going to automatically stop the car if it's a red light. It'll only stop the car if there's traffic in front of you. So eventually, when they do have the uh, full self-driving, um, then you'll have the auto steer in city streets. And there's a lot of confusion and misinformation about the full self-driving. Uh, so full, so full self-driving, basically, uh, if you happen to purchase this vehicle uh, you, and you have this on your Tesla account, you can pay a $10,000 upgrade and that will give you the ability to uh, get full self-driving capability when it's available. It does give you some additional features like smart summon, you know, smart par parking and things like that. Um, but aside from the people that are in a very, very limited beta for the full self-driving, you don't have that full self-driving capability. But in the next month or two, the year, uh, there will be a, uh, another beta and the, the, the new self-driving beta will be available to a lot wider group of people. I think it might be available to almost everybody who has the full self-driving uh, capability. Um, where you still have to pay attention, uh, but basically the vehicle uh, will go to a destination. You plug a destination in the, in the uh, navigation system, it will stop for pedestrians in the crosswalk, it will take life, uh, left and right turns. It will navigate itself you know, through complicated city streets. There are people doing that right now, of the current beta version you can see that on YouTube but it's not at the point yet where it's good enough to be you know released to a wider group of people uh, but I think that it's very very close and um, I think when the full self-driving uh, does become available you won't have to pay ten thousand dollars for it I think it'll be subscription subscription based service um, most software companies they don't sell software they sell subscriptions like Adobe Photoshop you can't buy it you can only buy a, a monthly subscription for it so I think when Tesla's full self-driving capability does come out, you can uh, upgrade it to a, on a vehicle like this, and you can pay a monthly subscription. It might be $50, $100, $200 a month instead of paying the $10,000. But, you know, talking to my wife who uh, had to uh, a two-hour commute both ways and stop and go traffic to Seattle, um, she, she would pay, she said she'd probably pay $300 a month to have the vehicle drive itself and she could take a nap or, or work. So for a lot of people, I think um, it'll be a godsend that will free up a lot of uh, lost productivity uh, through uh, having to drive a vehicle. Um, and I think it'll also cut down on highway you know, fatalities. I think when these systems uh, come out and they're offered in a wider variety of vehicles, I think you will see a, a major reduction in uh, traffic fatalities. So that will be a great thing. I think there's a lot of great uh, features with this system and I think there's a lot of benefits and I think it's bad. I don't think it's a good thing that people are saying, they're trying to do scare tactics, scare people. There's a lot of negative things out there. And see, even on a you know, two-lane road like this, I can activate the auto steering. Um, it's one of the most advanced uh, systems that I've experienced. And obviously, I'm in the business. I've never experienced a system uh, that is good as Tesla's. It really is a, a great system. It's one of the best ones out there. Um, and uh, it makes driving a pleasure. It's a beautiful driving vehicle. It's comfortable. Uh, it's spacious. It's quiet. Uh, it has unbelievable acceleration and it's unlike any other vehicle that you've been in. It's almost like a uh, 
if you ever watch the matrix you know the red pill the blue pill well uh when i show people teslas for the first time i take them for a ride it's almost like that it's like oh oh wow i had no idea this is amazing it's totally different than any other vehicle i've experienced so um and, and you might feel the same way uh if you've never been in a tesla before uh <laughs> There's a YouTube channel I watch, and uh, they're, they're saying is that prepare to get test slapped. So uh, that's just my two cents. Um, and of course, I can ramble on and on uh, with these videos. I can go on and on about them, but uh, obviously, you don't have all the time in the world. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I don't know if you're looking uh, for information about this specific Tesla Model 3 or Model 3s in general. Hopefully, it's informative. Um, it's a great product, um, and uh, I think. Uh, if you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle, I don't think you're <laughs> headed in the wrong direction at all considering a uh, Tesla Model 3 and this 2021 with uh, a little over 3,000 miles is definitely a great one to consider. Um, I want it myself, but at, <laughs> at this point I, I have four cars and it's a little bit out of my budget, but uh, maybe it's not out of your budget. So lucky for you, if uh, this might be your next vehicle, I think it's one awesome car. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.